This is simple seasonal gill leaderboard, and this is our special one-off dashboard created by Yomu. Uh, if you don't know who Yomu is, he's the co-dev for IdleMO, and he is now the games admin in SimpleMO. He's also a crazy coder, and he's got the SimpleMO app hub uh, and the chat, the global chat you see on the stream interface. Yomu designed that, and the link's down in the description. It's the best way to play Simple Mill, especially emulating mobile on the PC. Anyway, this is the Guild Leadership Dashboard, and uh, we're about to cover the final progress report for Spring 2024. We dub it by season name, seasonal names, okay? Uh, staff is calling it Season 4, Season 5. We go by the seasons here, as in the actual, like, weather weathered seasons um so if you ever see that happen in game you know where it started but anyway the final craziest report of the top 25 guilds uh and including the tier 2 system which is at the very end uh and it's just been a season chat it's just been a season you know what i mean like this has been a really crazy one uh so let's just see how everything settled at the very end do I have things set up correctly? Uh, yeah, let me uh, refresh it. It's okay to refresh on chat, right? Or during live. Like, it's not a bad thing. Boop. Okay, here we go. So our first tier, the number one through five, this is our celestial tier. And this is what shook everything up last week. All of our TSL videos did so well on, on views. People love the drama. Uh, TSL has a lot of members to so watch your videos on loop. So thank you so much, TSL. And by golly, the guild that was like number two for pretty much a century is now number one with 236 mil EXP earned throughout this course of the total season. Insane numbers here with Babylon number two with 190 mil, which is even, you know, just as insane. And they were number one up until a week ago. And then we have Rain Factory at number three with 141 mil. I think this is the most they've ever earned. Uh, I don't know if anyone from RF is here, but I'm pretty sure it's like the most they've earned. We have Still Friendly 2 showing up. Don't know which one that is, but uh, almost 130 mil earned. So congrats to them. This is the first time they've earned this much in like forever. Um, so I guess they got serious. I guess, you know, Days of Spirit in the Sky. Uh, if you don't know who Days is, the... Uh, the former wolf, wolf leader, he's dead. He's not dead. Uh, <laughs> he left the game. Uh, but uh, he said, Friendly needs to get their shit together and just be one strong guild. They didn't do that, but they are now a strong guild. And number five, we have the Forest. Uh, not even breaking 100 mil, but very close. And they just kind of stood there the whole season, which is so odd for Forest. The Forest is usually like number three. Uh, but this is Celestial for Spring 24-4. Cheers to all of you. Oh, Bombs is here. What's up? The one I mince is Tansy. Oh, so you're in still friendly too, huh? All right, now I really don't care. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, Tansy. All right, let's go to Legendary. So Legendary, we have some final movement here. Uh, we're on the street as Wolfblood uh, fought TSL. I think that was probably one of TSL's final wars before going PvE. And they won because TSL secured first. They were probably like, ah, shit. Anyway, Wolfblood will take a win. I'm in safe mode and I didn't participate at all. But uh, Wolf Blood ending at number six, the top of the legendary tier. So shout out to them, Wolf Wolf. If you're here, represent yourselves. This is a great time to be alive. Uh, they bumped Friendly down to number seven. I don't know who's in that one. Is that the one Sunny's in? I don't fucking know. Uh, anyway, Wolf Blood earning 74 mil. Uh, friendly earning 70. We have Merge of the Universe, which um, people were expecting some changes. Uh, Hugs is there, and a couple of battle members moved there. It looks like they're reorganizing themselves, and they ended up at number eight with a position moving forward over Prostor uh, with 64 mil earned, almost 65. Prostor at number nine with 59 mil, almost 60 mil earned. And this guild, Prostor is comparably a small guild to their peers, and they just did so well this season. Um, they had like a dip last season, but the. 2020 or spring 2024 has been their season to date and then dps uh won the best and purest pve guilds for the season because the coven's gone thank you desi uh ending up at number 10 a pve guild ending up this high 
is excellent to see with 51 mil, almost essentially 51 mil on the dot. Uh, so great stuff there. Moving on to Epic. And yes, I'm only showing total right now because uh, it's the end. It, the season's over. So this I think that's what's most important. Uh, number 11, we have Golden Arrows with 36 mil earned. Uh, who knows we'll, what they'll be right now. You know, Golden Arrows is a little shaky. We have Blackwater at number 12 with 28 mil earned. We have Shadow Garden, who wasn't using Warriors this whole time, this whole season. They're at number 13, moving up a position at 28.5 mil earned. And then ZCK being overtaken by Shadow Garden with no Warriors at number 14 with 28.3 mil earned. And the Titans finishing off at 15 with 25 mil earned. So congrats to Shadow Garden. I cannot believe your noob of a leader has got you this far. <laughs> Uh-oh. Autumn says Tansy is still. Autumn is friendly. Is all you need to remember during stream. I can't remember anything. <laughs> I can't remember anything. And Tansy says I'll never learn. And yes, cutie, DPS at number 10. Insane number. So uh, elemental... You know, shout out to Elemental and everyone else here from DPS. Um, no Warriors doesn't need to be ahead anymore. Mor uh, Morxa says ZZK got passed over last second. Damn. Yeah. Okay, we'll show... Hold on. We'll show Earn real quick. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a big final push. Blackwater is just like... I don't know what's going to happen to them. Sin came back, right? Sin came back all like hot and bothered and then... Oh well. All right, moving up to the elite. Moving up, moving down to the elite. This has been the final placement. There was no movement whatsoever. I mean, there was the XP earned, but the, no one over. There was no final shakeup like we saw in the last two tiers. Um, and we have Wolf at sixteen with twenty-four mil earned. We have the Knights nice who say ye at seventeen with twenty-three mil earned. We have Genesis at eighteen with nineteen mil earned. We have Indonesia at nineteen with seventeen mil earned. And we have TPC, one of the shittiest guilds on this board, at number twenty with fifty mil earned. I'm fucking kidding. <laughs> I just said that because Rice Asima is here. <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for Rice Asima to be like, "What the hell, man?" <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oi. <laughs> uh, I still love TPC. You know, I played uh, Hell Divers with King Cows once because he said I want to play with you all the time, and he's only played with me once so far. The other night, he said they got really drunk, and his girlfriend was puking all over him. So that's something. All right, moving on to rare tier. Uh, good luck, TPC. So in rare, the final holdings with a shakeup, actually. Uh, so we have Step and Chill at 21 with 14 mil earned. Uh, Cord basically on autopilot, like barely doing anything near the end of the season. This is where they ended up. Asgard. Probably the biggest push into the SGL at the tail end at number 22 um, with 12.3 mil earned. This is a tier two guild, which I'll go over soon, uh, that finally pushed into the top 25. So congrats to Asgard just squeaking in at the very end with Murder of Crows, another tier two system guild or guild that thrives in the tier two system and you know, we'll push into the SGL, get pushed out. We make fun of them on stream. They get, they come back. Uh, and here they are at number 23 with 11.7 mil earned overcoming gorilla wizards. Okay. Gorilla wizards, which was a staple guild back in the day and necromancers den that guild fucking sucks. And I will say that every time I see it. All right. I hate necromancers den. I am glad they're dead. Uh, but anyway, congrats to Asgard. Congrats to Gr or I almost congrats to Gorilla Wizards. Congrats to Murder of the Crows from pushing in at the very end. Uh, hopefully that's, you know, momentum you'll 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 keep moving forward with. Uh, but anyway, that's the top 25 guilds of Spring 2024. Uh, and it's just, you know, it's amazing how far this season felt like it just dragged on. And then, like, we're literally at the end. The last three weeks, uh, it was like the Wild West uh, in Celestial Tier, you know, TSL versus Babel was very interesting to watch. Uh, it was like paint, you know, watching paint dry, but number wise, it was just like, it was hard to swallow that these guilds were, you know, these two guilds were like just consuming, you know, or just exploring this amount of EXP. It's just insane. Maybe exploring is not the right. Earning. Okay, that's better. I don't know what the fuck I was trying to say. Anyway, 
and then all throughout the 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 system you know the the different tiers so the final cheers to oh my god was that out of frame the final cheers to spring 2024 now let's look at the tier two system and see how you know some of these guilds fared uh before you know the the curtains closed oh, i need a break actually let's look at chat uh-oh Bryce asking me what was man lts says kim Trish is going to be waiting for the stream to end with a straight razor to take your lips off <laughs> Bomb says one season we will have a top 25 without a corpse of a guild there. Yeah, NCR and a couple other guilds, right? What? Yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, they just, they they earn so much EXP, right? Um, Yeah, a lot of people throwing props at Asgard. Good to see, good to see. Uh, I was their fan first, so don't even think about it. Keeban says that esports World Cup event is playing orgs is paying orgs to sign new rosters in different games. Simple one next for sure. That's right. We're going to get some jerseys up in here. Corvoy says we're not tier two. We were we were in the top twenty five for all but two weeks this season. <laughs> Corvoy, you're tier two, little shit. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So here's tier two. This is the twenty sixth through thirty fifth position of a. Uh, of the SGL within Simple MO. And this is just for us to keep eyes on upcoming talent and uh, to watch where guilds are re-emerging. They're waking up, essentially, and could potentially threaten the top 25. A guild that's supposed to be dead, okay? Why is Markimon back? How much How much did they earn? Okay, what the fuck? Dude, they're, they're beating all the noob guilds with their zero EXP. <laughs> Anyway, we have Drifters pushing up to 27. Drifters, a long-standing guild. They went dormant, and now they're back for blood. Uh, newbies gained over, you know, their position got overtake or overtook by Drifters. We have House of Bamboozle at 29. Cult of Eternal Ice at 30. Anarchy at 31. Blazing Beast, which is Vex's guild, at 32. Church of Cheeseology, which I'm pretty sure that's Elsa's guild, so a bunch of church, uh, cheese freaks at 33, moving three whole positions up. And we have First Gen Black Dragon at 34. And Alpha and Omega, a new name within the Tier 2 system from the last four weeks we've been covering it. Uh, moving up three whole positions, Alpha and Omega. Sounds like a uh, the gent band. But yeah, everyone, that is season four. Any any last words for how season four went down before we move on and take a sneak peek at season five? I don't want to like rush through it. Uh, but if anyone has anything to say about season four, now's a good time to say it. What happened? Let us see. Oh, okay, hold on. Here you go. There you go. My bad. The box is too small. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Core voice says Markamon is dead. Yeah, I know. But the leader is playing the gen. However, they were in the Coven uh, Discord. Keebin says, "Then you know the Germans always come back. <laughs> Not their economy, apparently." Drifters are going to be killer this season. I reckon glad to see them back. Uh, Bomb says, I'm looking forward to where Drifters, DPS, BB, and Asgard land season 5. Looking forward to the number one fight between Still Friendly and Aura this season as well. Okay, interesting. Do you see how Bomb's, he's like pretending to care about the, the tier 2 guilds because I said it first? He's always copying me, dude. It's because I'm popular. Uh, Shadow, or Shadow just says epic. <laughs> Keevan says, I believe in the battle comeback. <laughs> uh, Circle says, can we just have a season where we hit step and don't have drama? Boy, do I have bad news for you, librarian. <laughs>